this video talks through some really important skills involving uh, geometry and suggests a way to present your solution to maximise the chance of full marks in the examination. Now we've got this picture, or this diagram, and we've been asked to show that x equals 22 degrees. And we're going to present how to show every step really, really clearly, and in doing so also revise some key angle rules. Now again, this is a parallelogram, so we have two sets of parallel sides, and we're also told that length AB is the same as length AC. So I'm going to mark on here two dashes just to indicate the fact that these two are the same length. This therefore does mean that this triangle here on the left must be an isosceles triangle. Now my advice in these sort of questions is to almost ignore X to begin with and just to work out as many angles as possible and in doing so write down some key rules about these. Now then, the first key rule about parallelograms or when we've got two parallel sides are what are called co-interior angles. And to show this, if you imagine two parallel sides, then these two angles here always add to make 180 degrees. And again, they're called co-interior angles. So if you look here at this almost reverse C shape, this 65 and this entire angle here must add to make 180. So if I put a little 1 here, I can therefore find out how big that angle is. Because 65 plus 72 plus this extra bit of angle here must equal 180 degrees. And if I write down here, co in interior. So I can therefore find out what this missing angle must be to add to make 180. Well, 65 plus 72 is 137, plus this extra bit is 180. I can therefore deduce that this missing angle must equal 43 degrees. And I've shown clearly to the examiner what I've done to actually find that particular angle. And I'm going to write in now a 43 in here. Now that's step one. Now step two is involving opposite angles of a parallelogram. These two angles here are always the same. So I could put a two here, write in 65 degrees, and I could write down a two, <coughs> opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So I've shown a reason behind this calculation here. Now, the next step is I've got an isosceles triangle and what we know is that the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. This therefore means that I can find out this angle straight away. This has got to be 65. And all I'm doing is, is filling in angles as I find them. Because I've now almost got enough to find x. Because x is inside this little triangle here in the shape. So if I can find this angle, I will know two of the three angles. Well, I can find angle four pretty easily because angles on a straight line add to 180. So 
If I work out 180, take away 65, I can find out the leftover bit at the angle 4. So 180 take 65 is just equal to 115 degrees. So therefore that must be 115 degrees. Now, we are almost there now because we know two of the angles and the question is, is what is x? Well, for my final step, if I put a 5 here, I can write down angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. If I then do 180 minus 115, take away 43, that leaves me with 22 degrees, which is as required in the question. And the key thing here is that every step I've done has been really clearly and carefully labelled. I've then written down a set of instructions which shows my reasoning and logic behind each of my steps. And if we follow that process, then we can guarantee to get most, if not all, of the marks in a question involving geometry.